the CQ campaign. Peace convoy protesters say they have no more planned disruptions to Talisman Sabre at Shoalwater Bay, ending a costly and controversial operation. There's been firefights on the battlefield and fireworks outside court. Melbourne student Samuel Quinlan is the 15th anti-war protester to be fined for trespassing during Talisman Sabre. His foray into Shoalwater Bay cost him $500. The day people stop doing the kind of stuff that we're trying to do, well then the war just get, gets a free reign and our US alliance gets free reign. And... More than $7,500 of fines have been issued over two weeks. Police say they've spent $50,000 dealing with activists. I mean, it's quite a small price to pay compared to the suffering that our country puts people through. While their actions gained international media exposure, locals aren't impressed. More than 800 people attacked their actions on the 7 Local News Facebook page. Should have gone to jail, wrote one user, but the activists claim they've got their message across. We're much more on the world stage in a bad way, being allied to the US. And uh, now we've got more to fear than we did before. The US Military Marine HQ left CQ. The USS Blue Ridge docked in Brisbane after completing its talisman saver duties. Um, it's been pretty fun. Had a great time so far. You know, everybody's uh, welcoming, things like that. The 194-meter ship commands 80 other vessels, 140 aircraft, and 40,000 Marines on the ground. The rest of the American fleet is expected to be out of Shoalwater Bay next week. Brent O'Halloran, 7 News. Rectal